Alberta Health Services. Healthy Albertans, healthy communities, together. Cardiac rhythm devices. Loop recorder. Hi, my name is Steve, this is Melanie, and this is Michelle. We're here today to tell you why you're getting a device, what the device is going to do, and what to expect when living with the device. A loop recorder is a very small monitor that will record very slow or very fast heart rates. There are different types of loop recorders. They are all very small, as you can see here when compared to a hand. It is put into the center of your chest, close to your heart. It is to monitor your heart rate to discover if symptoms you have are related to your heart rate. This is a loop recorder. As you can see, it is a very small device. It is implanted just under the skin. It is used to monitor and record abnormal heart rhythms. This is your symptom activator. It is small enough to put in your pocket or purse. It can even fit on your keychain. Your monitor was put in because of symptoms you are having. When you feel these symptoms, press the gray button and hold it up to your chest where the monitor is. You will see a tiny green light and then you can put the activator away. You may also use an app on your phone depending on which device you have. The purpose of having the monitor is for you to record the specific symptoms for which the monitor was put in. For example, if it was put in because you get dizzy and faint, then you should record a symptom when you feel the dizziness that happens before you faint. Activate to record as soon as possible because the device can look backwards in time. You will have a liquid skin adhesive dressing called Dermabond or a gauze dressing. Please do not shower or bath for the first two days. If you have Dermabond, do not touch the wound. The Dermabond will gradually come off. If you have a gauze dressing, wash your hands and remove the gauze after two days. The sutures are internal and will dissolve. You may see little tapes on your skin called Steri-Strips. Now you can shower daily to let the water run over the incision and gently pat it dry. It is okay if some soap touches the incision, but do not use lotions or powders until it is fully healed. Do not soak in water, such as a bath or pool, until the incision is fully healed because this can cause infection. Most incisions will heal well, but it is important to watch for signs of infection or complications. Please call the clinic if you have any questions or concerns. Signs to watch for are redness, swelling that causes the skin to feel tight, bruising that extends beyond the area of the incision or returns after it is healed. Also, note if the skin feels hot or changes color. Watch for drainage, fever, or chills. Tenderness is normal, but please call if the pain returns or increases significantly after the first few days. If you are unsure, please call. This is what we are here for. It is much easier to catch a problem early instead of late. The clinic phone number is on the bottom of every appointment letter you receive, and it is also on the instruction papers we will give you after your procedure. Your loop recorder will include a remote monitoring system that allows the clinic to receive information if you have recorded a symptom or if your heart rate has been unusually slow or fast. The type of remote monitoring will depend on the type of loop recorder you have. It is important to remember that the loop recorder is only a monitor. When you record a symptom, it does not get you immediate help. We encourage you to record the symptom, but always seek urgent medical assistance if you need help right away. This video was developed for you by the team of registered nurses at the Mazankowski Heart Rhythm Device Clinic. We offer special thanks to Dr. Siva Kumaran, our medical director, for suggesting this project, to Toby Guinez, our nurse manager, for her support and enthusiasm. Also, we appreciate our patients whose identity is not shown, but who consented to allow pictures to be taken of their incisions. And a heartfelt thanks to Abbott, Boston Scientific, and Medtronic for animations and pictures in this video.